Hi, I'm Dr. Saida, consultant obstetrician and gynecologist and fertility specialist. In conjunction with Cervical Cancer Awareness Month this January, I'll be speaking a little bit about cervical cancer. In Malaysia, cervical cancer is still the third most common cancer and the fourth most deadly cancer among women. In 2020, there were 1,740 newly diagnosed cases of cervical cancer in Malaysia. There are two ways to screen for cervical cancer. The first is to do a conventional pap smear, which is a short and relatively painless procedure. Um, the other is to do a test for HPV, which is to check for the presence of the human papilloma virus. This is because we know that nearly 95% of cervical cancer cases are due to the presence of uh, HPV infection. After an uh, infection with HPV, uh, it can take about up to 10 years for the infection to change the normal cells of the cervix to become cancerous cells. As part of the prevention um, of developing cervical cancer, um, one way is to actually take the HPV vaccine. In Malaysia, as part of the prevention strategy, they've introduced giving the HPV vaccine to 13-year-old schoolgirls. Cervical cancer screening is very important and it's advisable for everyone to have regular screening to reduce the cases of cervical cancer. Thank you for watching.